our terabytes of information grow and grow and continue to grow, and our devices become more interconnected all the time, our next guest is giving us ways to store it all and share it all. He is the Director of Product Development with Buffalo, Brian Varenkoff. Brian, welcome back into tomorrow. How are you doing? Doing well. Thanks, Dave. It's a pleasure to have you because you're always showing us fun new things, and that's the, that's the goal here. So what are you showing at CES this year? Tell me about this mini station air got our attention. Yeah, as we're known as both a wireless company and a, uh, a hard drive or storage company, we've come together with a Wi-Fi hard drive. So pretty uh, symbiotic technologies working together. But it is a pretty unique device, and it's designed for the modern consumer. So what you have is uh, one terabyte uh, USB 3.0 hard drive, so you can use it and load your content on. It's also got a battery and access point on it. I believe the battery is dead. I apologize. Oh, okay. about oh, no that. problem. I'm just uh, pushing the button yeah. because it's showing a flashing light, and, yep. that, and that interests me. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you're, you're on the right track. You would turn it on, and it becomes a Wi-Fi hotspot. And with free iOS and Android apps, they can connect to it and stream up to one terabyte of content directly from it. Nice. Uh, and alternatively, you could use it to back up your, uh, your camera photos or your camera videos or, or files on your Android directly to it. So it's a pretty versatile device. Excellent. And I'm glad to hear that it's for iDevices and Android. Yes. So it's, it's not just one or the other. Uh, that you'll keep the majority of us happy. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And is this available now? Or It'll will be, be available in April. Okay. Of this year? Of this year, I always, yes. I always uh, have to ask because you you know, I've, I've had people say, well, no, we're hoping next year. Yeah. Well, okay. But this year, so April 2014, yes. and do we have a, a price point on it yet? The, the list price is one ninety nine. It'll more than likely be available at uh, at sites like Amazon, Newegg, et cetera, for right around one seventy nine to one ninety nine. Excellent, and uh, glad it, it, you even mentioned at no extra charge. One of our sponsors in there, Newegg, so you can look for it there too. Uh, they'll be happy to, to know about that. And this is called the Mini Station Air yeah. from Buffalo, and it is battery powered. So it has one other uh, unique thing for the smartphone uh, users, which is. Uh, we doubled it as a portable battery charger. So since it's already in your briefcase and you're nice. running low on juice. So plug in the USB cable and then plug in your device. And you've got 3,000 mAh of battery, which nice. will, will charge a, a smartphone one or two times depending on, on uh, the specs. Well, see, the Buffalo Brains thinking of that and saying, you know, it would be really cool. And, well, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> and you did. Yes, absolutely. Love it. Now, tell me that this other little device that you also brought with you from Buffalo uh, is an external hard drive of some sort? <laughs> yes, nice, this tiny. is a 28 terabyte storage array, <laughs> right. less than two square inches. No, <laughs> joking aside, it's actually not a storage device, but uh, it's part of our mobile strategy, and, and we're seeing a, an adoption of travel routers uh, being used uh, around the world, but even in North America. Ah, that would explain the little Cat5, Cat6 yes. connector plug here. Yes. So that you're, what you're telling me then, if I'm, say, in a hotel room that has a hardwired connection for the Internet, and there's a bunch of us needing, uh, needing to get online, which is pretty much always the case as we travel everywhere. This will allow multiple access? Absolutely. Uh -huh. To multiple people and multiple devices. You know, I now travel with a tablet, notebook, and smartphone. So I can pay for internet once, uh, only log in once, and uh, I'm good to go. And it's secure, so I'm not, you know, my neighbors couldn't snoop on my wireless yeah. you know, chats with my wife. And that's a good point because it's it's not so much even having to share it with so many other people, though you can mm -hmm. apparently, but just yourself. You're yeah. traveling and you've got multiple devices and maybe you're working and you're doing certain things that have to be done with different devices and you can only have one wired connection. Uh, and typically you can't plug those into your smartphones. <laughs> no. Nope. I don't know of any that'll do that. Yeah, or tablets even. But now this will happen. Absolutely. And it is 11 AC, so it's uh, future-proof, as we say. Yeah, future-proof. Uh, at uh, least it, for 2014. It, I was going to say, <laughs> is there such a thing really, yeah. you know? But at least through this year, that's a good point. Now, also, I'm going to guess available in April. Yes. And for how much? It'll set you about, about, about $50. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you can get that back right away the first time you use it, and you're yeah. able to share that data connection. Yeah, it so. really is a handy device to have in your repertoire a briefcase yeah. of gadgets. Cool. So then you guys at Buffalo are really stepping up the game on all kinds of mobile devices and, and helping all of us because we're all so on the go. Yeah, there's so many new opportunities with the technology now because of the way people are using other, other technology pieces. So yeah. it's exciting times for oh, sure. Oh, for sure. I mean, just being able to store and access your data all the time, but from anywhere, anytime, especially on the go, uh, gives it that added uh, sweet flavor, if you will. <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> Love it. BuffaloAmericas.com for more information.
more information. And, of course, we'll link you there. You'll see what Brian and his team are up to uh, when you visit intotomorrow.com. Thanks so much for spending a couple of minutes with us. We will look uh, mark our calendars for April uh, to be able to talk about these. Let us know when they're out. We'll let our audience Absolutely. know that they're out and available. All right. Look forward to uh, talking to you soon. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues. Intotomorrow.com. By the way, uh, be sure to download our free Into Tomorrow app where you can hear the streaming, watch the videos, do all sorts of stuff anytime at your leisure, and participate on the program. You may have questions about anything we're talking about at CES. You can either call 1-800-899-INTO anytime, 24-7, or better yet, use the free Into Tomorrow app. We're back in Las Vegas from the show floor of International CES. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network. Thank you.